in front of that gold spoon guy. Gold spoon. Gold spoon. As As usual. Usual. Good morning, guys. Welcome to this episode of Mantle of Fish Adventures. Today is family day. I got my dad with me right there. Good old Jerry. Everyone loves Jerry. And Everyone loves Jerry. Special surprise. I got my mama, Angel. Mom, look at the camera. None of that's good. <laughs> We're back on Lake Winnipeg today. It is once again very, very cold around like the last two day stretch of this minus 9,000 weather, deep freeze. Uh, fishing for some big greenbacks. We were out here yesterday with uh, my girlfriend and a couple friends from work, and we did pretty well. We caught quite a few eaters. Rick got a 30 incher, and today we're gonna try to replicate that. I uh, had a little issue with the heater this morning, wasn't exactly working, but we gotta figure it out. It's nice and toasty. Hopefully, my mom gets her first fish today, too. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and enjoy the video. All right, starting off with uh, a bait that worked really well for me last time. If you guys saw this in my last video, a gold hammered uh, slender spoon. It was the key. We're going to be tipping off with a little piece of frozen minnow. And the plan is to catch a few fish today and maybe cook them. Maybe a little catch and cook if uh, if you get what I'm putting out. So uh, I got my other rod. I got a TN70 rattle bait. That did it for me earlier this year. Got a pretty big wally on it. Going to call them in and hopefully they're going to come and slam this spoon. Stay tuned. Dad, what are you going to start off with? Uh, rattle bait? Rattle bait, yeah. Which uh, what color? Pink? No. Nope. No? Which one? No, the blue. Uh... Oh, live target. Live target. Uh, OG, OG or rattle bait. So we're gonna get fishing and hopefully crush some fish. Oh, nice. Just a little guy. Oh, nice. Nice little eater. Yes. Might have to do some uh, catch and cook later. Yep. Okay. That's, a, that's a plan. First one in the morning. A little green back. Oh, there's Mark flicking off bottom again, Diane. Oh, yeah? Oh, another sauger? Oh, he inhaled it though. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Ah! He, and open your mouth, bud, show the camera. Inhaled that spoon. Oh, off she goes. Ugh. than the other ones, but not that much. That's not bad. Ah, nice. Oh, and look at it. it, inhaled it. Inhaled that gold spoon, guys. That, I think you gotta change up your spoon or something. That is crazy. Ah, and popped out, just like that. I'm giving away my secret. That's it, right there, at the fish hole. Come get them. That's your old walleye. Nice, that's a nice fish, eh? Look at the, the green on it. Yeah, pretty, that's awesome. That's pretty wild color, shit. That's sick. Cool. Yep. Oh, fish, 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 fish. Fish. Oh, oh my, big one. Or, or my line's frozen. Bigger. I, I just dropped right down to it. No, it's not a big, big one, but another nice eater. Oh, that's a nice that, fish. That's a yep, there we go. Guess what? What's it on, Dad? Good old spoon. Good I old just dropped down to it, too. Spoon. Wow. Wow. I was recording and everything worked out there. There we go. Another one. That's five fish for me. Uh, hopes and dreams for my mom and my dad working on the heater. So, yeah. That's, that's the fishing so far. Working on the heater means zero. Yeah, that's the short analogy for it. Oh, 
Wow. This is crazy. Bite it. Bite it. Mom, come here. Come here, Mom. Come here. Come here. Come here. Ready? Ready? Okay, real. 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 There you go. Oh, my fish. <laughs> okay, back up over there. How much fun was that? Well, the next time it's a like huge fish. No, no, back okay, up over there. Say hi. It's a dogger. Yeah. Don't put the hook in my face, though. Say a smile. There you go. Your first ice fish. My first fish. There you go. Good job. Thanks. Oh, there's one. Shot right up on me once again. Wild. You can drop back down. Smoke. Oh, it hit me on the way down. He's swimming all the way up right now for some reason. Now it's chasing me all the way down. I don't know if he's on the rattle bait or spoon. Oh, he's definitely on the spoon. Or the rattle bait. Oh, rattle bait. Oh, frozen. Wow. Another stalker. Wow! We did not come here for Saugerville. Hey, it worked. TN70, in case you're wondering, like the blue pattern, natural, love it, gotta like it. Back down we go. Oh, another fish. Or for the rattle beat. Wow, he's acting aggressive. Yeah, same with all the fish I caught. Really? No, he's swimming up and down. He's gonna come for the rattle bait, I think. Yeah. Crushed it. Well, that's another. That's a decent one. Oh, there we go. Yeah, first. And look. At the rattle bait, absolutely inhaled it as usual. Nice. Well, it looks like we will be uh, cooking some fish. See, I was just kind of breaking off bottom. I think that's a big fish. Right down. Drop it right down to it. Oh, that's a big one. Oh, come on. Yeah. Oh, watch my line, watch my line, watch my line, watch my line. Yeah. Not as big as I thought, but a bit hard. Oh, maybe it is. Oh, that's a nicer one. That's a caress him off bottom. That's a big one. Oh. Wow. That's a nicer one. That's a nice size. Holy. Yeah. That's huge. Not huge. Not what we're going after. No. That's, that's, that's a nice not fish. huge. It is a big one. No. And it okay. crushed that gold spoon as usual. I really have to finesse that one off bottom though. We'll see exactly how big right now. Oh, I'm going to release it by it. 21. That's a beauty. What size do you think? There you go. Switch into the GoPro. Oh, here, let me do that. Yeah. Yeah? I'm gonna get another <laughs> angle of you doing that the whole time. <laughs> so, you don't keep over 20? No. That's the biggest of the day so far. Um, it's just around 9.15 right now. And uh, we're gonna get the hopefully the bigger heater going. We got the little two pound, uh, or two one pound propane paint tanks uh, using it right now. And it's not exactly toasty right now. So we're gonna try to switch back to 20 pounder and uh, get a little bit warmer. Come bite it. Come bite it. Oh, rattle bait for sure. Come on. Come on. Come on. See that big red mark one? Yeah. That's a fish. See now it's swimming back down? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Get her? No. Good eater. Yep. The green on these fish are insane. Oh, bud. They say if you hold a walleye on the belly, it won't move. There you go. Nice one. 
Go. Wait, he's gonna smoke me. Smoke me. Hey, John. Can I just not just call that? Oh, that's another nice one. Mm, that's a nice one. That is a fatty. Why is it so fat? It's just thick. He's eating. It's meat. Eating good. I have. This is abs absolutely insane. Are you catching those on the rattle or? No, on the spoon. My spoon must be too big then. I've had it. That's a little bit on the bigger side. I'm gonna release that one. Just to see measurement wise, right around 19. So we're gonna throw that one back. Okay, a little midday update. The fishing was unbelievable this morning for myself. I got just about over a dozen fish, uh, some sauger, some good uh, eater walleye. My dad <laughs> hasn't caught anything quite yet. Jerry is not on his best performance today. My mom got her first fish to the ice city though, which was awesome. Uh, Rod I'm using, it's a new one to the market. Timber, blue steel, this is the 38 medium. Super nice rod, very sensitive. I've been using this uh, slender spoon on it the whole time and it helps me keep the fish cushioned, meaning sometimes when you have the rod bent and you have a little bit of a faster tip, the fish decides to swim vertical, which releases, but because it's a little bit of a slower action, all the uh, bend isn't right at the tip, helps keep that fish pinned and come up through the ice. The second thing we were supposed to do today was try out some of this awesome new batter that was released a little while ago by uh, Jay Siemens and Josh McFadden. But because we had a little heater issue, we actually burned through our uh, two one pound propane tanks to get this place going. So we're gonna head back home, cook this up. It's gonna be my first time trying it, my dad's and my mom's. But uh, overall, great day on the water and uh, we'll see you when I get to my place. All right, so we're back home after fishing today with my dad. We're gonna be cooking up the fish we caught. This is the setup we got going. We're trying out the new catching cook. We got the fish cut up into little pieces. We got some beer that we're gonna use uh, to wet it. Dump it in the catch and cook, and then in the pan. And I got the finest hand model with me, Jerry. He's gonna do it for us right now. So, first thing. So if it doesn't taste good, it's not my fault. Yeah, no, not at all. In the beer. In the beer. Chris. Which smells nice. amazing, by the way. It does. Let's see. In the oil. Very nice. And we're gonna repeat. Great, the more of the truth. Yes. Uh -huh. Let's try trying it for me. What do you think? Mm, that's very tasty. Very tasty? Yep, very good job. My turn. That's nice. Ah. Mm. 10 out of 10. <laughs> do recommend. It's down, Absolutely. available at the fishing hole. If you guys like the video, make sure to click that subscribe button. Stay tuned in the next episode. And uh, if you're hungry, you like cooking fish, give it a try. Right? Absolutely. Cool. Absolutely. We'll see you next time.